Good day, Divergence Traders. Doing this a few minutes early today because I finished up. Um, first, I just want to say uh, to Mr. Velvet that I think, yes, I think uh, the rules hindered you. I think so. The only way you'll find out is to trade on your own. But anyway, let's move on here now. So this is the NASDAQ <clears throat> right here. And I've been trying to trade on the one minute. It can be difficult sometimes, but uh, so I couldn't find anything because of this up buy fake and then a sell fake and then back up again, buy fake. And then finally I went, oh, look, look, look. We have divergence. We have a high and a higher high and a high and a lower high on the Osma. So I got in right here and I made about 88 points. But you see, I, I wasn't going to give up. I, I wanted to make some more. <laughs> and look what happens when you're greedy and you go back for more. Here's the nice trade here. I made all the profit in here. Then, I, then we had divergence here. Look, this is the one minute. Okay? We had a double top. This is one indication that I thought we were going to go down. Right? No. So I sold it there, and up we go. And I closed the trade. Then we did a second one. Same shit. Then it broke out of here, as you can see, and I did a buy, and all that I did is cover my losses for these two trades. But anyway, there's also divergence. Uh, hold on. Let me show you here. So there's the divergence of the double top. Okay, right there. But we also had hidden divergence. From here to, we'll draw it right to the top this time because it does work out perfectly. But we could have drawn it to any pullback on the way down here. Okay? So, from, why won't it let me grab that thing? From right here to right here. See that? So that is like a double confirmation to get short right in here, right, which I did twice, <laughs> and it still didn't freaking work, watch now, it will go down, down to, to this uh, blue line, I'm not going to say the price, because it's off of the real price, it's not the real price, it's a forex broker, so anyway, it'll probably come down, either come down to here, to these lows, or it'll break through it, and really crash down another few, uh, 100 or 150. Um, so that's where I did my trading. See, nobody's perfect, ladies and gentlemen. You know, even though I run this thing and I say, yeah, buy here, sell here, I'm showing you my real live trading right here. Okay? And as you can see, I, I, use, my, I use my tool here, my semi-auto, okay? Which I had... Paid a coder a long time ago. It's been shit. It's been how many years? It was, uh, it was before, before 2010, or I mean, yeah, I think it was. I don't know. A long time I've had this thing. I've had, I've had actually three different coders work on this semi-auto, uh, EA that I run. It's my little tool. I click buy, sell, close, you know, whenever I want. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so that's what happened on the NASDAQ. There's also a trade signal on the 15. If we draw it from, from there to there, okay, and from there to there. And we would have got short right where you see the arrow. And down it went. So the question is now today, 
Do we go back up to this area here, the high of the day? Or are we going to swing back down? I don't know. And come down here. Um, I do not know for sure. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the daily. Oh, it's all full of... I'll show it to you on the other... Um, Oh, it's on the four hour actually, but I'll show you on on the other uh, on the charts I usually show. Okay, so anyway, let's go over now. Let me pull the chart over. This is a demo, my demo chart. The other chart was my live chart. Okay, so there's that trade. Okay, on the five minute. And there's also the one in the 15 minute I just showed you from, from here to here and here down to here, which was, uh, I don't know, the entry would have been somewhere up here, went down 100. Let me show you on the four hour, okay? We'll squish it together. How you find these setups is usually when you make the chart this size right here. See this? And that. See that? That's divergence, man. Would have sold it. You can do this swing trading if you want, ladies and gentlemen. So you would have got, got short right in the air, and it went down so far 420 points. And it wouldn't surprise me now that they've, you know, Took it up higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, much lower, low, <laughs> not a higher, high. But you see how, how they're stair stepping it up, right? I wouldn't be surprised. This is the highs are in now, and they're going to crash it back down here, or even back down here, or even lower, you know, or it could go up, but I'm think I'm thinking down myself. But anyway, that's the NASDAQ. Enough enough on the NASDAQ. Oh, I guess we're going to go back up, eh? Yeah. Yeah, they're fooling. They're getting everybody to sell here. The bastards. They got me selling. They suckered me into it, but, but, I, but I got in the trade for a reason. There was divergence. Right? There was uh, a double top divergence which was right here. And I see double top right here and the hidden divergence drawn up to here. So I had a reason, but it didn't work out. I tried it twice and it didn't work out. Anyway, there she goes, north to Canada. Okay, let's move on, let's move on now to the S and the P. Yeah, they're pretty much same trades, right? Yeah. Look, I'm tired again. Didn't get hardly any sleep last night. Okay. No, no. Don't want to delete the asthma. <laughs> fuck you, man. Go fuck off, you stupid lines. How many other people who run a, um, you know, like a, a channel like this, where they draw lines on the chart, <laughs> like I do? I don't think there's anybody. I really don't. And... Not only do I draw lines in the chart, but I also explain as I'm pointing here, or if I'm pointing here, I'll say, here's the higher high, here's the retracement, and then a higher high, then we wait for the five to cross down below the seven, and then we get in the trade, and blah, 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 blah. How many other um, channels? I don't think there's any. Sure, there's some that'll draw a trend line or something, but... Not like this. That's what make this channel so unique for you guys. And I'm not conceited and I'm not bragging. I've been told this. I've been told from people that this is the best YouTube channel. 
I wouldn't totally agree with that, but I do agree with my explanation of the whole setups and, and everything. Yeah. Not many people can touch me with that. Some people, like like I told you before, <laughs> some people will, will put the mouse right here in the middle. See the mouse right here? <laughs> and they'll go, yeah, we put in a high and then a retracement. Yeah, and then a higher high. And then the price started to come down and we sold it. And you're going, huh? What the fuck's he talking about? He's not pointing to anything or anything. You see what I mean? That's why I'm saying I point to every little thing and I talk about every little thing so that you, you know, I fully explain it to you how this works, right? Right. So anyway, there was a sell right here. And then there was a lower close, buy it with a little bit of drawdown, and up it goes. That's the S&P. And there was a whole bunch of them. There was a buy right here, another buy here, another buy here, another buy here. Lots of beautiful scalp trades all the way up on the, the S and the P. <laughs> I had to look down here to see what it was. <laughs> Holy sheep shit. Okay, Jason, shut up and move along. Okay, oh my God, look at the Dow. Look what it did, look what it did. Oh, it really fooked people today. Holy sheeper. And here's the divergence right here. Same as the other chart, basically. Very steep, eh? But see how it perfectly lines up? Look at that. See how it perfectly lines up with the Osma down here? See? And see what this one lines up perfectly. Isn't that funny how it draws these points on the Osma to exactly the high of this area and the high over here and you see the divergence and you go, holy jeez. You, no, you have no idea how many times I see this. Where it draws it perfectly and it's another confirmation telling you, yes, yes, this is this is bearish divergence. Get ready to sell. So it came down really fast from the top, as you can see. 130, wow. 100 and 175 points to the bottom. So you probably would have tried to get in just below that wick right there I'm pointing to. See right there? You would have jumped in, sold it there, and down it went. And you would have made some pips. About 65 pips. 66 pips. But then you see right here, here's another trade. Let me show you. I'll just show you one more right here. Higher close in my zone underneath the seven. It's valid. So you would have sold it right on the opening of this candle. Higher close, sell it. Down it goes. And it went down 34 points. Now, the next one. Because it's just chopping sideways here, going right, as I call it, exit stage right, I would have not tried to sell it again. I have only would have done the one myself, maybe. But anyway, here's one on the upside. Lower close, buy it, up it goes. They don't always work, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you try and get in the third one and it's at the top of the move or the bottom of the move. That's where you get in trouble and it starts going the other way. Okay. Pound dollar. Oh, look at the pound dollar. Dollar. Chop, 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 chop. And now it just took off up here. Like in the last five minutes, it took off up. Oh, only 14 pips. <laughs> okay. I don't trade the pound anymore. The pound dollar used to be so good. It was the king, man. The king of England. The king of the pound. Dollar, the pound. The great British pound. We used to have an average daily range of between 400 and 600 pips, man. I'm talking back in 2006, 2007. That's how far I go back trading Forex. Actually, I started in 2005 trading, trading Forex. In 2001, May, I started 
trading to begin with. 22 years now. Anyway, look at this. I'm not marking anything on there. <laughs> it's fucked, man. Euro the same thing? Oh, no. Euro is a little, a little bit better. See, we have a low and then a pullback. Double bottom. Look at all those friggin' lines all over the goddamn Osma. I don't know why they won't they won't go away like they 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 just stick there. They stick there like glue. Okay, that's good enough. So we had a double bottom to the wick or a higher whatever. And right here, up like this, yeah. You little bugger. Don't mind, don't mind me, I'm having one of those. It's got to be perfect moments. <laughs> On Ninja Trader, you draw it, you draw it, you drop it, it stays there. It doesn't go sticking to the wicks of the candles. On Ninja Trader. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, Ninja Trader with the real, uh, I wouldn't be showing the euro. They have the euro there, but it's the real price, man. The real price. Well, this is the real price for Forex, I guess. But anyway, if you would have got in right here, let's say you got in right here. How much did it go up now? 30, 31 pips. See, not much. Pound yen? Oh, she was a choppy one today. I was looking at it right here to, to do a buy trade. And I said, no, on the one minute. Yeah, right here. See, here's the divergence. I was going to buy right here. It went up like six pips. Something real retarded. <laughs> then finally, way over here it goes up. Yeah. Didn't trade that. And here's one right here. Danced on this 190 level right here. And yeah, you could have bought somewhere in here. Yeah. We got to show that. It's right. It's right there. Yeah, you would have bought it up, and they took it back up, down, and then they took it back up. Here's another trade. Hidden divergence. Yeah, right there. Didn't go very far, did it? 20, 21 pips. But that's the two trades on the, just put the line there for the, oh, look at it, stuck there straight. Look at that. It's a miracle. So yeah, there's the buy there with the one, two, three, four, five, six X bottom, bottoming action right here. So you that wicks when you see. This kind of bottoming action doesn't really go any lower, and there's wicks involved. You're pretty certain it's going to fly high. And that's exactly what it did right here. Okay, let's look at uh, the euro yen. Oh, I need some water. Okay. There's a double bottom. Right here. There's another. Somewhere in there like that. I don't know. Buy it. There's a few ticks. Pips. Whatever. Um. Yeah, another buy would have been right there. Our stop would have been down here. Let's see, if you got in this one here, take profit is 15.6 pips. Did we get take profit 15? No, see? Never hit the first target. So if you're still in the trade waiting to hit the first target, guess what happened? It came down back down here. And it got your stop right there. So that would have been a failure trade. Bad trade, bad trade. My bad, my bad. 
And then we got this here, kind of double, triple bottom here or whatever. Yeah. Like that. And you would have got long. Oh, God, I'm yawning like crazy. I'm so sorry. I didn't sleep much. Maybe two hours. Shit. I got to go for a nap. Um, yeah, so you would have got in long right there. Okay, the stop was 15 pips. We got our 15 pips. Went up 26 pips. So, see, nothing is perfect in this world. I showed you the trades that I did today. I did the one big one, 88 pips. That's where I made my bulk of profit today. And then I did two other ones, thinking it was going down. No, no, I even tried it twice. No. And then right here, here's the loser, right here, right here. Yeah, it can happen. But how often do they happen? Ah, uh, Two, three times out of ten. Which is still enough to make profit. Let's look at... Uh, now we're supposed to look at... Uh, Where the hell are you? You're right here, no? Gold? Yeah, it's gold. <laughs> Is that gold? Look at look at this huge massive run in one minute, ladies and gentlemen. In one minute, 125 points. This is gold. And then look at this, these little candles. And before that, these well, there's a few big ones here, but little candles. They do this big FU move down here in one minute and then come right back up, um, you know, 90, 90 points from the 125 point drop. See, you see how the, the, this isn't something that just happens naturally. It's somebody who's controlling this that's, that's making it do that. Like, think about it. Like, how many people were long here? You know, coming down or short, you're even short, say short. Where's your stop? It's going to be a lot of stops there. It's going to be stops here and stops here. And they dug down even deeper down through these three levels. Let me put the line there to show you. See, they almost went through this level when they went through this one, this one, this one. These, wherever you see these little doodads here, these little pullbacks, that's these levels. This is where people put their stops. And they went and they got them all, man. All their stops. Every ledge, there's a stop. People's stops. And they just go over it. Go after it. Just like that. In one minute. Two minutes, it went back up again. Manipulation, manipulation. Okay, let's look at the last thing now, which is oil. What did oil do today? Did a nice move on the five. Did I grab that thing? How come I click on it and it doesn't grab it? Little buggers. See, there's the divergence. So the best thing to trade today would have been oil. Look at that, we're at $80 now. There's talk, we're going to 90 Anyway, so you would have bought long here. Your stop would have been right down here, 32 pit points. There's 93 there's 142 points right there to the top. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yes. So anyway, uh, that's it for today's show. I want to thank you all for coming out and listening and watching. And I hope you enjoyed what you learned here today. I hope you learned something from me. I got so much in my noggin. <laughs> you know, I like to share it with traders. This is all what I've observed by watching charts.
for all these years. I think my eyes are going a little buggy. I gotta st stop staring at the screen and go outside and focus on something far away. You know what I mean? If you stare at your charts too much, you know the screen. You need to you need to go outside or even walk around your place, whatever. But it's better if you go outside, get some fresh air, go for a walk, focus on things far away, and your eyes will come back into its correct balance of focus. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. If you're going to trade this afternoon, be safe. Good luck and good trading.